Hello, my beloved child. I'm Jesus, your Savior. Here is a message from God to you. Don't close this video without listening because it's for you. In fact, if you love God and His Son, Jesus Christ, watch this video until the end and don't forget to click subscribe, like, and comment on this video. God bless you. I love you, my sons. I love you, my daughters. Now we can hear the message from God. Thank you. And He will make your path straight. Surrendering control to God in our healing process demonstrates our trust in His sovereignty and goodness. It allows us to rest in His care, knowing that He will bring about the healing we need in His perfect timing. Healing through the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit, as listed in Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23, includes love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These characteristics bring healing to our relationships and emotions. As we cultivate the fruit of the Spirit in our lives, we create an environment where healing can flourish. The fruit of the Spirit allows us to respond to others and to our own struggles with grace, love, and understanding, promoting healing in our hearts and lives. Healing through trust in God's providence. Proverbs 16 verse 9 assures, In their hearts humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. Trusting in God's providence means recognizing that He is in control of every aspect of our lives. Including our healing. Whether the healing is immediate or unfolds over time, we can trust that God is always working for our good. He knows the bigger picture and His plans for our healing are far greater than anything we could imagine. Healing through the power of forgiveness. Forgiveness is one of the most important principles in receiving healing. Unforgiveness creates spiritual and emotional wounds that hinder healing in our lives. Mark 11 verse 25 tells us, And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. When we forgive, we release the hurt and pain that holds us captive, and this act of releasing others also opens the door for our own healing. God, in His mercy, enables us to forgive others as we recognize the forgiveness we have received through Christ. The process of forgiving others brings peace and healing to our hearts, often allowing God's restorative power to flow freely. Healing through God's Word the Bible is filled with healing promises that speak life into our bodies and souls. Proverbs 4 verses 20 to 22 says, My son, pay attention to what I say, turn your ear to my words. Do not let them out of your sight, keep them within your heart. For they are life to those who find them and health to one's whole body. The Word of God is not only spiritually nourishing but also physically healing. When we meditate on the promises of God's Word, we activate faith that brings healing into our circumstances. The Bible teaches us that healing is a part of God's plan for us, and by speaking His promises over our lives, we can experience the manifestation of His healing power. Healing through the ministry of Jesus Christ Jesus came to heal the brokenhearted, set the captives free, and bring restoration to the world. He is the ultimate healer, and His ministry on earth serves as an example of how we can receive divine healing. In Luke 4 verse 18, Jesus said, The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because He has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free. His earthly ministry was full of miracles of healing, physical, emotional and spiritual. As believers, we can turn to Jesus for healing, trusting that He is faithful to heal and restore. Jesus is not just a healer of the past but continues to heal today through the power of the Holy Spirit. Healing through the Holy Spirit The Holy Spirit plays an integral role in our healing. Romans 8 verse 11 reminds us, And if the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, 
He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because of his Spirit who lives in you. The Holy Spirit is God's healing presence in our lives. Empowering us to receive physical, emotional, and spiritual restoration. As we invite the Holy Spirit to work in us, He brings life, renewal, and healing. The Spirit comforts us in our pain, guides us in the process of healing, and empowers us to experience freedom from sickness and oppression. Healing through faith. Hebrews 11 verse 1 tells us, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Faith is a key element in receiving healing. Without faith, it is difficult to receive the promises of God, including His healing. When we believe in God's ability to heal and trust in His timing, we create an atmosphere where healing can take place. Faith activates God's healing power, and though we may not always see the immediate results, trusting God through faith brings us into alignment with His will for healing. The Bible encourages us to have faith as small as a mustard seed, and with that faith, we can move mountains. Healing through restoring relationships. Sometimes, healing begins when relationships are restored. Broken relationships can cause emotional pain that affects our well-being. Matthew 5 verses 23 to 24 says, Therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar and there remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar. First go and be reconciled to them, then come and offer your gift. Healing in relationships often requires reconciliation, which restores peace and healing to our hearts. When we seek peace and unity in our relationships, we open the door to healing that extends to our emotions and physical health. Healing through obedience to God's will. God desires our obedience, and it is through obedience that we experience His healing. John 14 verse 15 states, If you love me, keep my commands. When we follow God's instructions, He leads us on the path of healing. This may involve seeking medical help, adopting healthy habits, or pursuing emotional counseling, all of which are part of God's healing plan for us. Through obedience, we align our lives with God's will, and He responds by bringing restoration to every area of our lives. Healing through understanding God's timing. Sometimes, healing doesn't come immediately. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 reminds us, there is a time for everything, and a season for every activity under the heavens. God's timing is perfect, and while we may desire instant healing, He works all things for good. Even in times of waiting. Understanding and trusting in God's timing enables us to surrender our impatience and rest in His faithfulness. During seasons of waiting, God prepares us for greater healing, teaching us patience and trust in His process. His timing may not always align with our own desires, but it is always for our benefit and His glory. Healing through the Resurrection Power of Christ The resurrection of Jesus is a pivotal event that demonstrates the power of life over death, healing over sickness, and victory over suffering. Romans 6 verse 4 proclaims, We were therefore buried with Him through baptism into death in order that, just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father. We too may live a new life. Through the resurrection power of Christ, we have access to divine healing and restoration. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead is at work in us, and it brings life to every area of our being, whether physical, emotional, or spiritual. Healing through the power of the cross. The cross represents ultimate sacrifice, love, and healing. 1 Peter 2 verse 24 reminds us, He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. Through the cross, Jesus paid the price for our healing. His suffering and death on the cross became the means through which we receive healing, not just spiritually, but physically and emotionally as well. The power of the cross is the source of all healing, 
and by understanding the significance of Christ's work on the cross, we can access the fullness of His healing grace. Healing through worship and adoration. Worship is a powerful form of connecting with God, and it invites His presence into our lives, bringing healing. Psalm 103 verses 1 to 3 says, Praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being, praise His holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all His benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Worship creates an atmosphere where God's healing power is welcomed and where we can encounter His presence in transformative ways. When we worship God, we declare His greatness and invite His healing presence into our lives, bodies, and situations. Healing through strength in weakness. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9 reminds us, But He said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. In our weakest moments, God's strength is revealed. Healing often comes through acknowledging our weakness and allowing God's strength to work in us. As we rely on God, His power becomes evident, and His healing flows freely into our lives. Recognizing our limitations allows us to experience His grace and healing in profound ways. These principles illustrate that healing is not a one-time event but a holistic process involving physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual restoration. Each step we take towards God's healing brings us closer to His perfect plan for wholeness and health. Healing through gratitude and praise. Giving thanks to God in all circumstances is a powerful tool for healing. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 encourages us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Gratitude has the power to transform our hearts. Shifting our focus from pain and suffering to the blessings we still have. When we praise God despite our circumstances, we invite His peace into our lives, which in turn brings healing to our souls. Recognizing God's goodness, even in the midst of trials, strengthens our faith and opens the door for His healing power to work within us. Healing through the comfort of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is often referred to as the Comforter, and His role in healing cannot be overstated. In John 14 verses 16 to 17, Jesus promises, And I will ask the Father. And He will give you another Advocate to help you and be with you forever, the Spirit of Truth. The Holy Spirit comes alongside us to bring comfort during times of pain, loss, and confusion. He helps us process our emotions and provides healing in the deepest parts of our hearts. The Holy Spirit empowers us to forgive, overcome bitterness, and find peace, even when we face the greatest challenges of life. His presence in our lives is a source of strength that helps us endure hardship and experience healing on all levels. Healing through trust in God's sovereignty. Trusting in God's sovereignty is a key to healing. When we acknowledge that God is in control, even when circumstances seem out of our hands, we open ourselves to His healing power. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 tells us, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. When we trust God's plan, even if we don't fully understand it, we align ourselves with His will for our healing. Trusting God means surrendering our fears and doubts, knowing that He is working all things together for our good, even when we cannot see the immediate outcome. This trust builds a foundation for lasting healing, allowing us to rest in His perfect will. Healing through community and support. Healing often takes place in the context of community. James 5 verse 16 encourages us, Therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. 
God has designed us to be in relationship with one another, and sometimes. Healing occurs when we share our struggles with others and receive prayer and support. The body of Christ is meant to be a place of healing, where we can bear one another's burdens and walk alongside each other in the journey of restoration. In a community that encourages vulnerability, healing becomes more accessible, and we are reminded that we are not alone in our struggles. Healing through surrender and letting go. Sometimes, healing comes when we let go of control and surrender our pain to God. Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30 says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart. And you will find rest for your souls. Surrendering to God means acknowledging that we cannot heal ourselves and that we need His divine intervention. When we release our pain, fears, and anxieties into His hands, we make room for His healing touch. Surrender is not about giving up, but rather about yielding to God's will, trusting that He will bring healing in His way and in His timing. Healing through God's grace. Grace is the unmerited favor of God and it is through grace that we are healed. Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9 says, For it is by grace you have been saved, through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. Healing is a gift of God's grace. And it is not something we can earn or deserve. It is through grace that God reaches into our lives and heals the brokenness within us. We are not healed because of our good deeds, but because of His love and mercy. This grace is available to everyone who seeks it, and it is through embracing God's grace that we find healing for our bodies, minds, and spirits. Healing through Mind Renewal Romans 12 verse 2 urges us, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing and perfect will. Our thoughts have a profound impact on our overall health. And renewing our minds with the truth of God's word is essential for healing. Negative thoughts, self-doubt, and anxiety can prevent healing from manifesting in our lives. However, when we align our thoughts with God's truth, we create an environment where healing can flourish. Meditating on scripture and focusing on God's promises transforms our minds, allowing us to walk in the peace and healing that God provides. Healing through patience and perseverance. Sometimes, healing takes time. James 1 verses 3 to 4 reminds us, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Patience is essential when it comes to healing. Although we may desire immediate results, healing is often a process that takes time. Through the journey of healing, God develops our character and teaches us to rely on Him. The perseverance we build during this process deepens our faith and prepares us for the next steps in our walk with God. Healing is not always instant, but as we persevere, we become more resilient and grow closer to God. Healing through joy and hope. Nehemiah 8 verse 10 says, Do not grieve, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Joy is a powerful force in the healing process. When we focus on God's goodness and remain hopeful, we begin to experience healing in our hearts. Even in the midst of pain, choosing joy brings strength and resilience. Hope, in particular, is the anchor that keeps us grounded during times of uncertainty. When we place our hope in God's promises, we open the door to healing. Joy and hope are essential components in the healing process, and by choosing to rejoice in the Lord, we allow His healing power to work in us. Healing through confession and repentance. 1 John 1 verse 9 tells us, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Confession and repentance are critical steps in the healing process. 
particularly when it comes to spiritual healing. When we confess our sins to God, we release the burden of guilt and shame, allowing His forgiveness to cleanse us. Repentance opens the door to restoration, as it signifies a turning away from sin and a return to God's ways. By acknowledging our wrongdoings and seeking God's forgiveness, we make space for healing to take place in our hearts and minds. Healing through self-care and rest. Mark 6 verse 31 highlights the importance of rest, then, because so many people were coming and going that they did not even have a chance to eat, he said to them. Come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. Healing is not just spiritual, but also physical and emotional. Taking time to rest and care for our bodies is a vital part of the healing process. God designed rest as a way to replenish our energy, restore our strength, and heal our physical bodies. In our fast-paced world, it's easy to neglect the need for rest, but God invites us to take time to slow down and rejuvenate. Self-care, both physically and emotionally, is part of God's plan for our healing. Healing through acts of kindness and service. Acts of kindness and service to others can also bring healing. In Matthew 25 verse 40, Jesus says, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Serving others in their time of need can often bring healing to our own hearts. Acts of kindness not only bless others but can also heal our own emotional wounds. When we focus on helping others, we shift our attention away from our own struggles, and in doing so, we experience healing in the process. Compassion and service create an environment of restoration for both the giver and the receiver. Healing through worship and adoration of God. Worship is not just a ritual but a powerful means of healing. When we lift our hearts in adoration to God, we create a space for His presence to dwell within us, which brings peace and restoration. Psalm 22 verse 3 states, Yet you are enthroned as the Holy One, you are the one Israel praises. Worship shifts our focus from our pain to the greatness and majesty of God. Through worship, we acknowledge God's sovereignty and power, and this act of surrender allows His healing presence to fill our lives. Whether in song, prayer, or silent reflection, worship becomes a means through which God heals and restores our souls. Healing through the power of the Word The Bible is not just a book of ancient stories, it is alive and active, a powerful source of healing. Hebrews 4 verse 12 affirms, For the Word of God is alive and active. Sharper than any double-edged sword, it penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. The scriptures carry the power to heal us spiritually, emotionally, and even physically. When we meditate on God's Word, it brings clarity, peace, and healing to our minds. The promises contained in the Bible offer hope in the darkest times, and as we internalize these truths, our hearts and minds are transformed. Healing through fasting and prayer. Fasting is a spiritual discipline that invites us to draw near to God, and in doing so, it opens the door for healing. In Matthew 17 verse 21, Jesus says, However, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. Fasting is a way to humble ourselves before God and seek His will for our lives. It disconnects us from distractions and allows us to focus on God's power to heal us. In combination with prayer, fasting invites a deepening of our relationship with God, bringing spiritual clarity and healing. Whether fasting from food, media, or other distractions, it is a means of seeking God's presence and allowing His power to work in us. Healing through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ Ultimately, the most profound source of healing comes from the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross. Isaiah 53 verse 5 prophesied, But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds, 
we are healed. The atoning death of Jesus brings healing to all who accept him as their savior. His sacrifice paid the price for our sins, and through his wounds, we are spiritually healed. This healing extends not only to our souls but can also manifest in our physical bodies, as we appropriate the power of his sacrifice in faith. By his blood, we are made whole, and this is the ultimate foundation for all healing in our lives. Healing through deliverance. Sometimes, healing involves deliverance from spiritual oppression or bondage. Jesus' ministry was marked by his deliverance of people from demonic influences, and he continues to deliver us today. Luke 4 verse 18 says, The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free. Deliverance is part of the healing process. As it removes the spiritual strongholds that prevent us from experiencing wholeness in God. Jesus is the ultimate deliverer, and through his power, we are freed from the chains that bind us, allowing us to walk in freedom and healing. Healing through restorative relationships. God often heals us through the relationships he places in our lives. When we experience hurt, betrayal, or brokenness, it is often through the support of loving, godly relationships that we begin to heal. Ecclesiastes 4 verses 9 to 10 says, Two are better than one, because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. Relationships built on mutual love, trust, and respect provide emotional healing and support. A community of believers can surround us with prayer, encouragement, and guidance as we walk through difficult times. These restorative relationships provide a place of safety, comfort, and healing as we heal together. Healing through the gifts of the Spirit The Holy Spirit has equipped believers with spiritual gifts that play a significant role in the healing process. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 9 tells us that, To another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by that one Spirit. These gifts, including healing, words of knowledge, and prophecy, allow believers to minister to one another and participate in the healing process. The manifestation of these gifts in the church body is meant to bring healing, restoration, and deliverance. When we seek the gifts of the Spirit, we position ourselves to experience God's healing in supernatural ways. Healing through intercessory prayer Intercessory prayer, where we stand in the gap for others, is a powerful way to invite healing into someone's life. James 5 verse 16 encourages us to pray for each other so that you may be healed. When we intercede on behalf of others, we participate in God's redemptive work, bringing healing to those in need. Prayer is a vital weapon in the spiritual realm, and through it, we can invite God's healing power to move in ways that surpass our understanding. Interceding for others not only blesses them but also deepens our relationship with God, as we align our hearts with His desires for healing and restoration. Healing through trust in God's timing. Often, healing is a process that takes time, and trusting in God's timing is essential. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 11 tells us, He has made everything beautiful in its time. God's timing is perfect, even when it doesn't align with our expectations. Sometimes, the healing we seek takes longer than we would like, but as we trust in His perfect plan, we learn to embrace the journey. God uses time to refine us, teach us patience, and prepare us for the fullness of His healing. While we may wish for immediate restoration, God's timing ensures that we are healed in the way that is most beneficial for us in the long run. Healing through prayer for wisdom. Healing is not always instantaneous, and sometimes we need wisdom to navigate our journey. James 1 verse 5 encourages, If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. When we seek God for wisdom, 
We position ourselves to make decisions that align with His will for our healing. This wisdom can help us identify what changes need to be made in our lives, what steps we need to take toward restoration, and how to find peace in the midst of pain. God's wisdom is an essential component in the healing process, guiding us toward the path of recovery and wholeness. Healing through the presence of angels. In the spiritual realm, angels are often sent by God to minister to us, offering protection, comfort, and healing. Hebrews 1 verse 14 says, Are not all angels ministering spirits sent to serve those who will inherit salvation? Angels play a vital role in the healing process, as they are sent to guard, encourage, and even deliver us from harm. While we may not always be aware of their presence, angels are working on our behalf, orchestrating divine interventions that contribute to our healing. Their presence brings comfort, and we can pray for angelic assistance in our times of need. Healing through generosity and giving. Acts of generosity and giving can also play a role in healing. Proverbs 11 verse 25 reminds us, a generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. When we give to others, whether it is through time, resources, or encouragement, we open ourselves to receive God's blessings. Generosity not only blesses those we give to but also heals our own hearts. It removes selfishness and opens the door for God's love to flow freely through us. Giving also brings peace, as we participate in God's work of restoration and healing in the lives of others. Healing through the beauty of nature. God has created a beautiful world, and nature itself can be a source of healing. Psalm 19 verse 1 declares, The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of His hands. Spending time in nature allows us to connect with God's creation and experience the peace that comes from being in His presence. Whether it's the calming sound of ocean waves, the tranquility of a forest, or the beauty of a sunrise, nature can soothe our minds, bodies, and souls. It reminds us of God's majesty and restores our sense of wonder and gratitude. Nature has a way of drawing us closer to God, and through it, we find healing for our hearts. Healing through rest and Sabbath. One of the most overlooked aspects of healing is the importance of rest. God himself instituted rest as a vital part of creation, as seen in Genesis 2 verse 2, by the seventh day God had finished the work he had been doing. So on the seventh day he rested from all his work. Rest is not just physical relaxation, it is a sacred time to reconnect with God and rejuvenate our spirits. The Sabbath is a gift from God to experience renewal, healing, and peace. In our fast-paced world, we often neglect the need for rest, but God calls us to cease our striving and to trust Him with our burdens. When we rest in Him, we allow His healing power to refresh us. The Sabbath restores not only our physical energy but also our emotional and spiritual well-being, providing a space for God's healing presence to work in us. Healing through forgiveness One of the most powerful keys to healing is forgiveness. Unforgiveness can build up walls in our hearts, preventing God's healing power from flowing. Matthew 6 verses 14 to 15 says, for if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Forgiveness is not always easy, especially when we have been deeply hurt, but it is essential for healing. Forgiving others releases us from the bondage of bitterness and resentment, and it opens the door for God to heal our hearts. When we forgive, we participate in God's grace and mercy, allowing Him to transform our hearts and heal our emotional wounds. Forgiveness sets us free and allows God's peace to reign in our lives. Healing through the power of praise. Praise is a weapon of warfare and a key to unlocking healing. Psalm 100 verse 4 encourages us, Enter His gates with thanksgiving and His courts with praise, 
give thanks to Him and praise His name. Praise shifts our focus from our problems to God's greatness. It magnifies His power and goodness, and as we praise Him, we invite His healing presence to fill our lives. Praise breaks down strongholds, lifts our spirits, and brings breakthrough. It may feel difficult to praise when we are hurting, but praising in the midst of pain is an act of faith. It demonstrates our trust in God's goodness and His ability to heal us. When we choose to praise, we create an atmosphere for God's healing power to move in our lives. Healing through the ministry of angels. In times of emotional or spiritual distress, God often sends His angels to minister to us. Psalm 91 verse 11 says, For He will command His angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Angels are messengers of God, sent to protect, guide, and bring comfort. When we are in need of healing, whether from physical, emotional, or spiritual wounds, angels can provide assistance, offering protection and encouragement. They carry out God's commands and work behind the scenes, ensuring that we are not alone in our times of need. Prayer can invite angelic assistance, asking God to send His angels to surround us with peace and healing. The presence of angels can offer reassurance and remind us that God's care and protection are always with us. Healing through the Sacrament of Communion The act of taking communion, or the Eucharist, is a powerful reminder of the healing that Jesus provided through His body and blood. In 1 Corinthians 11 verses 24 to 25, Jesus says, This is my body, which is for you, do this in remembrance of me. This cup is the new covenant in my blood, do this, whenever you drink it, in remembrance of me. Communion is more than a ritual. It is an opportunity to participate in the ongoing work of Christ's redemption. As we partake of the bread and wine, we remember His sacrifice and claim His healing in our lives. Communion not only symbolizes the forgiveness of sins but also invites physical and emotional healing, as we connect with the sacrifice of Jesus. It is a sacred moment that strengthens our faith and reminds us of God's promise to heal us and restore us to wholeness. Healing through serving others. Serving others is a powerful way to experience healing. Galatians 5 verse 13 says, You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free. But do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh, rather, serve one another humbly in love. When we serve others, we step outside of our own pain and focus on meeting the needs of those around us. In doing so, we open ourselves to God's healing. Service brings us closer to God's heart and allows us to participate in His work of restoration. Helping others can bring emotional healing, as it reminds us of the love and grace that we have received. By giving of ourselves, we experience the joy that comes from living a life of purpose and compassion, which in turn brings healing to our own souls. Healing through gratitude. Practicing gratitude is an essential part of the healing process. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18 encourages us, Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Gratitude shifts our focus from what is lacking or broken in our lives to the many blessings that God has already given us. It opens our hearts to receive more from God, including healing. When we are thankful, we align ourselves with God's goodness and His faithfulness, which are the foundation for our healing. Gratitude helps us overcome feelings of discouragement or hopelessness and allows us to experience peace and joy, even in the midst of difficulties. Healing through the gifts of the Holy Spirit The Holy Spirit has given each believer gifts that are meant to build up the body of Christ and bring healing. 1 Corinthians 12 verses 7 to 9 speaks about the gifts of the Spirit, including healing, now to each one the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. To one there is given through the Spirit a message of wisdom, to another a message of knowledge by means of the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by that one Spirit. 
These gifts are not only for the benefit of others but also for our own healing. The Holy Spirit can use the gifts of prophecy, healing, and encouragement to minister to us and bring restoration to areas of our lives that need healing. As we open ourselves to the Holy Spirit, we invite His transformative power to work in us. Healing through the practice of silence. Silence can be a powerful tool for healing. Psalm 46 verse 10 encourages us, Be still, and know that I am God. In our noisy world, silence allows us to slow down and listen to God's voice. It creates space for God to speak to our hearts, bringing comfort, peace, and healing. In silence, we allow ourselves to be vulnerable before God, laying down our burdens and allowing Him to restore our souls. Sometimes, healing comes not through words or actions but through stillness in God's presence. Silence allows us to hear God's whispers of love and encouragement, leading us to wholeness. Healing through acts of kindness. Small acts of kindness can have a profound impact on our healing. Proverbs 11 verse 25 says, A generous person will prosper, whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. Kindness has a way of breaking down walls and softening hearts, both in the giver and the receiver. When we show kindness to others, we create an environment of healing, as kindness reflects God's love and compassion. Whether it is a word of encouragement, a helping hand, or a simple gesture, acts of kindness release healing power into the world. These acts, both big and small, create a ripple effect of love and restoration that blesses everyone involved. Healing through the power of the cross. At the heart of Christian healing lies the cross of Jesus Christ. 1 Peter 2 verse 24 says, He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. The cross represents the ultimate act of love and sacrifice, providing a way for us to receive healing in every area of our lives. Through his suffering, Jesus made provision for our healing, spiritually, emotionally, and physically. The power of the cross is a constant reminder that healing is available to all who come to Jesus in faith. Healing through God's Word The Bible is a powerful source of healing. In Psalm 107 verse 20, it says, He sent out His Word and healed them, He rescued them from the grave. God's Word has the ability to heal our minds, bodies, and spirits. As we read Scripture, we encounter the truth that brings freedom and wholeness. The promises of God in the Bible remind us of His faithfulness, His love, and His desire to heal us. When we meditate on His Word, it transforms our thoughts, renews our hearts, and brings healing to areas of our lives that are broken. The Bible not only guides us in how to live but also offers us comfort and strength in times of struggle. God's Word is living and active, able to penetrate deep within us and bring restoration to every part of our being. Healing through compassionate prayer. Prayer is a vital way that God heals us, not just through words but through deep, compassionate connection with Him. James 5 verse 16 encourages us, the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. When we pray, we open the door for God to intervene in our lives, bringing healing where it is needed. Prayer is not just about asking for things, it is about cultivating a relationship with God, where we can bring our pain, our struggles, and our desires before Him. In times of sickness, emotional distress, or spiritual dryness, Prayer is the key that connects us with God's healing power. As we pray, we align ourselves with God's will and invite His transformative presence into every area of our lives. Through prayer, we experience God's peace and healing, and we are reminded that we are not alone in our struggles. Healing through the gifts of the Spirit The Holy Spirit works in our lives in powerful ways, bringing healing through the gifts He gives. In 1 Corinthians 12 verse 9, it says, To another faith by the same Spirit. 
to another gifts of healing by that one Spirit. The gifts of the Spirit are given to build up the body of Christ and to bring healing to the hurting. When we are filled with the Holy Spirit, we become vessels through which God can flow His healing power. Whether through words of knowledge, healing, or prophecy, the Holy Spirit empowers us to minister healing to others and to receive healing ourselves. The gifts of the Spirit are not just for the Church, they are for every believer to experience and use in the everyday moments of life. Through these gifts, we experience God's miraculous healing power in ways that bring glory to Him and benefit to His people. Healing through Worship Worship is another powerful means of healing. When we worship God, we enter into His presence, where there is fullness of joy and peace. In Psalm 22 verse 3, it says, But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. God inhabits the praises of His people, and when we worship, we create an atmosphere where His healing power can move freely. Worship is an act of surrender, where we lay down our burdens and offer our hearts to God. As we focus on His greatness and goodness, we are reminded that He is able to heal every wound, restore every loss, and provide peace in the midst of chaos. Worship brings us into the presence of God, where healing flows freely. It connects our hearts to the heart of God and allows His love to wash over us. Healing through the power of faith. Faith is a key component of healing. In Mark 9 verse 23, Jesus says, everything is possible for one who believes. When we place our faith in God, we open the door for His healing power to work in our lives. Faith does not mean that we deny our pain or struggles, rather, it means that we trust God to bring healing, even when we cannot see the immediate results. Faith allows us to believe in God's goodness and His ability to heal, regardless of our circumstances. When we have faith, we align ourselves with God's promises, and His power moves on our behalf. Healing often begins in the heart, with a simple act of faith, believing that God can and will heal us. This faith enables us to receive the healing that God has already made available to us through Jesus Christ. Healing through repentance. Repentance is another important aspect of healing. In Acts 3 verse 19, Peter urges the people to, repent, then, and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. When we repent, we turn away from sin and turn toward God. This act of turning to God allows His healing power to flow into our lives. Unconfessed sin can block the flow of God's healing, but repentance opens the door for God's forgiveness and restoration. Through repentance, we allow God to cleanse us, heal our brokenness, and bring us into deeper communion with Him. Repentance is not just about asking for forgiveness, it is about seeking God's presence and desiring to be restored in every area of our lives. Healing through the comfort of the Holy Spirit The Holy Spirit is known as the Comforter, and one of His roles is to bring healing and comfort to our hearts. In John 14 verse 16, Jesus promises to send the Holy Spirit as our helper. And I will ask the Father, and He will give you another Advocate to help you and be with you forever. The Holy Spirit comes alongside us in our pain, offering comfort, peace, and healing. When we are grieving, struggling, or feeling lost, the Holy Spirit is there to minister to our hearts. He brings healing through His presence, guiding us back to hope and reminding us of God's love. The Comforter is a reminder that we are never alone in our pain, the Holy Spirit is always with us, ready to bring healing and peace. Healing through the ministry of others. God often uses others to bring healing into our lives. In Galatians 6 verse 2, it says, Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. Through the support, prayers, and encouragement of others, we can experience healing. When we are struggling, God often sends others to stand with us, pray for us, and help carry our burdens. 
The community of believers is essential for healing because it reminds us that we are not alone. In times of trial, we are meant to lean on each other, offering comfort, support, and love. The body of Christ works together to bring healing to every member, whether through prayer, acts of service, or simply offering a listening ear. We are healed through the love and care of others who reflect Christ's love to us. Healing through a change in perspective. Sometimes, healing comes when we shift our perspective. In Romans 12 verse 2, it says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. When we look at our pain and struggles from God's perspective, we can see them in a new light. God uses trials to refine us and draw us closer to Him. Our pain can become a place of growth and transformation when we choose to view it through the lens of God's love and purpose. By renewing our minds with the truth of God's Word, we can find healing even in the midst of suffering. A change in perspective helps us see the bigger picture of God's plan for our lives and gives us the strength to endure and trust in His healing process. Healing through the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is a powerful source of healing. Nehemiah 8 verse 10 says, Do not grieve, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Joy is not just a feeling, but a deep sense of God's presence and peace. When we experience the joy of the Lord, we are reminded of His goodness, His faithfulness, and His ability to heal. Joy strengthens us in our times of weakness, lifting our spirits and renewing our hope. Even in the midst of pain, the joy of the Lord can bring healing by helping us focus on God's goodness rather than our circumstances. As we embrace the joy of the Lord, we are healed from despair and filled with a sense of peace and gratitude. Healing through the name of Jesus. Finally, the name of Jesus holds all the power to heal. In Acts 3 verse 6, Peter said to the crippled man, In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. There is no name greater than the name of Jesus, and it is through his name that we are healed. Jesus came to heal the sick, set the captives free, and restore all that was broken. When we call upon the name of Jesus, we invite his healing power into our lives. His name is above every name, and at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every sickness must flee. Healing is available through the powerful and precious name of Jesus Christ, and through him, we receive the fullness of God's healing in every area of our lives. Healing through restoration of relationships. Healing often comes in the form of restored relationships. In Matthew 5 verses 23 to 24, Jesus teaches us the importance of reconciliation, saying, Therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar and there remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar. First go and be reconciled to them, then come and offer your gift. The process of healing sometimes requires the mending of broken relationships. Holding on to unforgiveness and bitterness can hinder emotional and spiritual healing. Restoring relationships allows God's healing grace to flow, both to those we forgive and to ourselves. Forgiveness is a powerful act of love that not only releases others from their wrongs but also releases us from the emotional weight of hurt. In the act of reconciliation, God restores peace, and healing can take place in the hearts of all involved. It's through love and humility that we witness God's restorative power in our relationships. Healing through the presence of God. The presence of God is often the greatest healer in our lives. Psalm 16 verse 11 says, You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. When we encounter God's presence, healing flows naturally. His presence brings peace, comfort, and restoration that no earthly remedy can provide. In the quiet of His presence, our souls find rest, and our wounds find healing. When we draw near to God, He draws near to us, bringing healing to the deepest parts of our being. 
Whether through prayer, worship, or silent contemplation, being in God's presence allows His transformative power to work within us. As we seek God's presence, we invite His healing touch, which brings peace to our hearts and wholeness to our lives. Healing through gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful tool for healing. When we focus on the blessings we have, rather than on our pain, we shift our mindset and begin to experience healing. In 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18, we are instructed, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Gratitude helps us see God's hand at work, even in difficult times. It reminds us of His faithfulness, and as we cultivate a heart of thankfulness, we open ourselves up to His healing. Gratitude shifts our focus from what is broken to what is being restored. It fosters an attitude of humility and helps us acknowledge God's goodness, even in the midst of hardship. When we give thanks, our hearts are healed from the bitterness and discouragement that can come from focusing on the negative. Gratitude enables us to recognize the ways in which God has been faithful in our lives and reminds us of His continual care. Healing through Jesus' atoning sacrifice. The ultimate source of our healing is found in the atoning sacrifice of Jesus Christ. In Isaiah 53 verse 5, it says, But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Jesus' death on the cross secured our healing, both spiritual and physical. Through his sacrifice, we are reconciled to God, and through his wounds, we receive healing from the effects of sin. Jesus' work on the cross is the foundation for all healing. It is through his atonement that we are healed from the disease of sin, and it is through his resurrection that we find victory over death and eternal healing. This truth is the cornerstone of our faith and provides the ultimate hope for both present and future healing. As we place our trust in Jesus' sacrifice, we experience the fullness of healing that He offers. Healing through patience and perseverance. Healing is often a journey that requires patience and perseverance. In James 5 verses 7 to 8, we are encouraged to be patient then, brothers and sisters, until the Lord's coming. See how the farmer waits for the land to yield its valuable crop, patiently waiting for the autumn and spring rains. You too, be patient and stand firm, because the Lord's coming is near. Sometimes, healing does not happen immediately. It may take time for our hearts, minds, and bodies to fully heal. However, God calls us to be patient, trusting that He is working in us during this process. Just as a farmer waits for the right season to harvest, we too must wait for God's perfect timing. Through this waiting, God builds perseverance in us and refines our faith. He uses our struggles to strengthen us and to help us rely more fully on His grace. Healing often requires a season of waiting, but in the waiting, we are being shaped and prepared for what is to come. Healing through the power of the cross. The cross of Christ is the ultimate symbol of God's healing power. Colossians 2 verses 13 to 14 tells us, When you were dead in your sins and in the uncircumcision of your flesh, God made you alive with Christ. He forgave us all our sins, having cancelled the charge of our legal indebtedness, which stood against us and condemned us. He has taken it away, nailing it to the cross. Jesus' sacrifice on the cross offers complete forgiveness for our sins, and in that forgiveness, we find the healing of our souls. The cross is where Jesus bore the weight of our sins and our pain. It is through his death and resurrection that we are spiritually healed and reconciled to God. The cross provides not only salvation but also restoration for every part of our lives. As we look to the cross, we find the power of God's healing love, which covers every wound and makes us whole. Healing through the truth of God's promises. God's promises are a source of healing for us. In 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20, it says, 
for no matter how many promises God has made, they are, yes, in Christ. When we stand on God's promises, we find hope and healing. His promises are unchanging, and they provide stability and peace in times of uncertainty. Whether it is the promise of peace, John 14 verse 27, joy, Psalm 16 verse 11, or healing, Isaiah 53 verse 5, God's word reassures us of his commitment to our well-being. By meditating on his promises, we align our hearts with his truth, which brings healing to our doubts and fears. His promises are powerful declarations of his faithfulness and his desire to bring restoration to every area of our lives. Healing through the restoration of hope. Hope is a powerful force for healing. In Romans 15 verse 13, it says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hope gives us the strength to endure and to believe that healing is possible, even when circumstances seem impossible. When we have hope, we are not defeated by our struggles but are empowered to keep moving forward. God's word fills us with hope that he will bring healing in his perfect timing. When we place our hope in God, we trust that he is at work, even when we cannot see the outcome. Hope restores our perspective, enabling us to endure and to anticipate the healing God has promised. Healing through God's unfailing love. The love of God is a constant source of healing. Romans 8 verse 39 assures us, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. God's love is unconditional and unchanging, and it has the power to heal our wounds. When we feel abandoned or unworthy, God's love reminds us that we are his precious children, loved and accepted. His love restores our sense of worth and heals the wounds of rejection and fear. When we experience God's love, we are healed from feelings of inadequacy, loneliness, and despair. His love fills us with a sense of peace and assurance, knowing that we are safe in His care. Through His unfailing love, we are made whole. Healing through the ministry of angels. Angels are ministering spirits sent by God to assist and support us. In Psalm 91 verse 11, it says, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Angels can be used by God to bring healing, protection, and comfort during times of difficulty. Though we may not always be aware of their presence, God's angels are active, working behind the scenes to bring peace and healing to our lives. Whether through a comforting word, a moment of peace, or a sense of protection, angels often minister to us in ways that lead to healing. They are part of God's care for His people, and He uses them to support us on our healing journey. Healing through the power of worship. Worship is a powerful tool that brings healing to our souls. In Psalm 34 verse 1, David says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Worship allows us to focus on the greatness of God and His goodness, shifting our perspective from our pain to his power. As we worship, we invite the Holy Spirit to work in our hearts, bringing peace and healing. Worship creates an atmosphere where healing can take place, whether through singing, praying, or meditating on God's word. In the presence of God, we find rest for our weary souls and healing for our broken hearts. When we worship, we acknowledge God's sovereignty and allow His love and grace to flow into our lives. Worship is not just about expressing gratitude, it is about aligning our hearts with God's will and inviting Him to heal and restore us from the inside out. Healing through the power of testimony. The stories of how God has worked in the lives of others can be powerful agents of healing. Revelation 12 verse 11 says, they triumphed over him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Hearing testimonies of God's faithfulness, miracles, and deliverance builds our faith and encourages us in our own healing journey. 
When we share our own testimonies of God's healing, we not only testify to His goodness but also help others experience hope and healing. Testimonies remind us that God's power is real, and they inspire us to believe that He can heal us, too. When we hear about others' breakthroughs, we are encouraged to keep pressing forward, knowing that God's timing is perfect and that His plans for us are good. Healing through the authority of Scripture God's Word has the power to bring healing to every area of our lives. In Hebrews 4 verse 12, it is written, For the Word of God is alive and active. Sharper than any double-edged sword, it penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. The Bible is not just a book of ancient stories, it is living and active, and it has the power to heal our minds, bodies, and spirits. As we read and meditate on God's Word, we invite His truth to replace the lies and distortions that cause emotional and spiritual wounds. Scripture provides comfort, encouragement, and direction, offering wisdom for healing in times of crisis. Whether we are struggling with anxiety, depression, physical illness, or relational strife, the Bible offers healing words that speak to our hearts and guide us back to peace. It is through the authority of Scripture that we find God's promises for our healing and restoration. Healing through the fellowship of believers. The support and prayers of fellow believers play a vital role in our healing process. In James 5 verse 16, it says, Therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. When we are part of a community of believers, we are not alone in our struggles. Our brothers and sisters in Christ can offer support, encouragement, and prayer, which help us heal. There is power in collective prayer and intercession, and the Bible encourages us to bear one another's burdens. When we walk through difficult times, the fellowship of believers provides a source of strength and comfort. Together, we can share in each other's pain, celebrate victories, and lift each other up before God. The body of Christ is designed to support and encourage one another in every season of life, especially during times of illness, grief, or emotional distress. Healing through the exercise of faith. Faith is essential in the healing process. Hebrews 11 verse 1 reminds us, now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. When we trust in God's ability to heal, our faith activates His power in our lives. Healing often requires us to step out in faith, believing that God is capable of doing what seems impossible. Faith allows us to hold on to God's promises, even when our circumstances suggest otherwise. It is through faith that we believe in God's healing even before we see the results. Jesus often emphasized the role of faith in healing, such as when he healed the woman with the issue of blood in Mark 5. 34, saying, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Our faith is a declaration that we believe in God's goodness and his power to heal us in every area of our lives. As we exercise faith, we position ourselves to receive healing. Healing through rest and renewal. Sometimes, healing comes through rest and renewal. In Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30, Jesus invites us, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. The pressures of life can cause us to become spiritually, emotionally, and physically drained. God understands our need for rest, and he calls us to come to him for refreshment. Rest is not just a physical break, it is an opportunity for spiritual renewal. When we rest in God's presence, we are able to lay down our burdens and trust that He is working in us, even when we are still. Rest brings healing to our bodies, minds, and spirits, allowing us to recharge and regain strength. It is in moments of rest that we can hear God's voice more clearly and experience His healing touch in deeper ways. Healing through the power of silence and solitude. Silence and solitude can be powerful tools in the healing process. In Psalm 46 verse 10, 
God says, Be still, and know that I am God. In the busyness of life, it is easy to become overwhelmed and distracted. But taking time to be alone with God in silence allows us to listen to His voice and experience His healing presence. Solitude is a space where we can reflect on God's Word, meditate on His promises, and invite His healing to take place in our hearts. Sometimes, healing requires us to step away from the noise and chaos of daily life in order to focus entirely on God. In the stillness, God speaks peace to our souls, and we receive the healing we need. Healing through the ministry of the Holy Spirit The Holy Spirit plays a vital role in our healing journey. In John 14 verse 26, Jesus promises, But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. The Holy Spirit is our Comforter, Counselor, and Guide. He ministers to our hearts, bringing healing to our emotions, thoughts, and spirits. When we are in pain or struggling with our healing, the Holy Spirit intercedes for us in ways that we cannot express in words. Romans 8 verse 26 says, In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. The Holy Spirit empowers us to heal by bringing comfort, peace, and assurance that God is with us and working in our lives. As we yield to the Holy Spirit, He guides us toward the healing God has prepared for us. Healing through the practice of confession and repentance. Confession and repentance are vital components of healing. In 1 John 1 verse 9, it says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Sin can create barriers between us and God, but through confession, we can experience healing and restoration. When we confess our sins and turn away from them, we open the door for God's forgiveness and healing. Repentance is not just about asking for forgiveness but also about making a conscious decision to turn away from sin and walk in God's ways. This process of confession and repentance brings peace to our consciences and allows God's healing to restore us. It is through God's grace that we can find complete restoration and wholeness. Healing through the promise of eternal life. Ultimately, Healing finds its fulfillment in the promise of eternal life. In Revelation 21 verse 4, it says, He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. While we experience healing in this life, we look forward to the ultimate healing that comes when we enter the presence of God in eternity. There will be no more suffering, pain, or sickness in heaven. The promise of eternal life is the final and complete healing that we long for. It is the hope that sustains us through earthly trials, knowing that one day, God will make all things new. Our ultimate healing comes through the salvation and restoration that Christ offers, and we look forward to that day when we are fully restored in His presence. Healing through the power of hope. Hope is a crucial aspect of the healing process, as it gives us the strength to press forward even when we cannot see immediate results. In Romans 15 verse 13, it is written, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hope sustains us in times of suffering and is the anchor for our souls. It is through hope that we believe that God will restore us, heal us, and bring good out of every situation. Hope fuels our faith and allows us to persevere, trusting that God is always working behind the scenes, even when we cannot see the bigger picture. The hope we have in Christ is a hope that does not disappoint, and it motivates us to continue seeking healing and restoration in every area of our lives. Healing through the power of grace. Grace is unmerited favor, and it is through God's grace that we are able to experience true healing. 
In 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9, Paul writes, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. God's grace is more than just forgiveness. It is the power that enables us to heal, even in the midst of our brokenness. No matter how broken or hurt we are, God's grace covers us, restores us, and makes us whole again. It is through grace that we experience the healing of our emotions, bodies, and spirits. Grace empowers us to live beyond our failures and past hurts and to walk in the fullness of the healing God has for us. Through grace, we find peace and assurance that our healing is a gift from God, not something we have to earn. Healing through acts of kindness. Acts of kindness, both given and received, can be powerful agents of healing. In 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11, it says, Therefore encourage one another and build each other up. Kindness has the ability to uplift our spirits and bring healing in unexpected ways. When we extend kindness to others, we are serving as instruments of God's love and healing. Small gestures of kindness can provide comfort and remind others that they are not alone in their struggles. Acts of kindness also open the door for God's love to work through us, bringing peace and restoration not only to the person receiving kindness but also to ourselves. As we serve others, we often find healing for our own hearts as we focus on being a blessing to those around us. Healing through the ministry of angels. The Bible teaches that God sends his angels to minister to his people. In Psalm 91 verse 11, it says, For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Angels are divine messengers and ministers who often intervene on behalf of God's children. They can bring comfort, guidance, and protection during times of physical or emotional distress. In the wilderness, God sent angels to minister to Jesus after his temptation, Matthew 4 verse 11. When we feel alone or overwhelmed, God's angels are sent to bring healing and strength, either through direct intervention or by guiding us to the right people, resources, or solutions that bring us healing. Their presence reminds us that God is always with us and is working on our behalf, even in unseen ways. Healing through the strength of God's love. God's love is the greatest force for healing in the world. In Romans 8 verses 38 to 39, Paul writes, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present or the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. God's love has the power to heal every wound, mend every broken heart, and restore every soul. When we are in pain or struggling, we must remind ourselves of the depth of God's love for us. His love is unconditional, unending, and never fails. It is in God's love that we find our true healing, as His love overcomes all fear, shame, guilt, and pain. When we open our hearts to experience His love, we are empowered to forgive, to heal, and to be made whole again. God's love is the foundation for all healing, and it is the source from which all other forms of healing flow. Healing through the power of gratitude. Gratitude is often overlooked as a tool for healing, yet it plays a significant role in restoring our emotional and spiritual well-being. In 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18, it says, Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. When we focus on the things we are thankful for, it shifts our perspective from what is lacking or painful to what is good and positive. Gratitude cultivates a heart of peace and joy, which creates space for healing to take place. In times of distress, practicing gratitude can lift our spirits and remind us of God's goodness, even in difficult circumstances. Gratitude releases the healing power of God into our lives by fostering a thankful heart that is open to receiving His grace, mercy, and peace. 
It is in giving thanks that we begin to see the healing work of God more clearly and more fully. Healing through forgiveness. Forgiveness is one of the most powerful forms of healing. In Matthew 6 verses 14 to 15, Jesus teaches, For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Holding on to unforgiveness can create emotional and spiritual wounds that prevent healing. When we forgive, we release ourselves from the burden of anger, bitterness, and resentment. Forgiveness is not just for the person who wronged us, it is for our own healing. Letting go of past hurts allows us to experience peace and freedom. It is through forgiveness that we are set free from the past and able to step into the fullness of God's healing in our lives. God's forgiveness of our sins enables us to forgive others, and it is through this process that we find emotional and spiritual restoration. Healing through the promise of God's presence. One of the greatest sources of healing is the presence of God. In Psalm 23 verse 4, David writes, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. God promises to be with us in every circumstance, bringing comfort, guidance, and healing. His presence is a refuge for our souls, and it is in His presence that we find the peace and restoration we need. When we are hurting or facing difficulties, God's presence brings reassurance and hope. It is in the quiet moments spent with God that we receive healing for our hearts and minds. God's presence is where true healing begins and where we find the strength to overcome the challenges of life. Healing through the gift of joy. Joy is a gift from God that has the power to heal our hearts. In Nehemiah 8 verse 10, it says, The joy of the Lord is your strength. Joy is not dependent on our circumstances but comes from knowing that God is with us and that He is working all things together for our good. When we embrace the joy of the Lord, we allow God's healing presence to fill us with strength and peace. Joy brings light into our darkness and helps us overcome sorrow and despair. It is through joy that we can experience emotional healing, as it changes our mindset and helps us focus on the goodness of God. Even in the midst of suffering, the joy of the Lord empowers us to keep going and find healing in His presence. Healing through patience and trust. Healing often requires patience and trust in God's timing. In Isaiah 40 verse 31, it says, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, they will run and not grow weary, they will walk and not be faint. Healing is a process, and it can take time. Sometimes, the healing we long for comes gradually, and it requires us to trust in God's perfect timing. It is through patience and trust that we allow God to work in us and bring about the healing He desires for us. Trusting in God's sovereignty helps us remain hopeful and confident that He is faithful to complete the work of healing in our lives. Patience is a key part of the healing journey, as it allows us to remain steady and focused on God's promises, even when the healing process feels slow or uncertain. Healing Through the Word of God The Bible is a source of immense healing, offering wisdom, encouragement, and guidance to restore our souls. Hebrews 4 verse 12 says, For the Word of God is alive and active. Sharper than any double-edged sword, it penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. As we meditate on Scripture, its truths permeate our hearts and minds, bringing healing to areas of pain, doubt, and confusion. The Word illuminates our paths, comforts us in trials, and reminds us of God's eternal promises. 
Each verse carries the power to bring life and restoration, enabling us to align our thoughts with God's purposes. Daily immersion in the Word not only heals but also equips us to face challenges with renewed faith and strength. Healing through worship and praise. Worship is a powerful tool for healing, lifting our focus from our problems to the greatness of God. In Psalm 103 verses 2 to 3, David writes, Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Worship opens the door for God's presence to fill our lives. Creating an atmosphere of peace, joy, and healing. When we praise God, even in the midst of struggles, we declare His sovereignty and trust in His ability to heal and restore. Worship shifts our hearts, replacing despair with hope and sorrow with gladness. It strengthens our spirits and brings a divine exchange, our burdens for His blessings. As we pour out our praise, God pours in His healing power. Healing through fasting and prayer. Fasting, combined with prayer, is a profound way to seek God's healing. Isaiah 58 verses 6 to 8 highlights the power of true fasting, is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen? To loose the chains of injustice and untie the cords of the yoke. Then your light will break forth like the dawn, and your healing will quickly appear. Fasting helps us align our spirits with God. Removing distractions and focusing solely on Him. It allows us to surrender our needs, acknowledging our dependence on His provision. Through fasting, strongholds are broken, clarity is gained, and healing flows freely. Prayer during fasting becomes a direct line to God's heart, unleashing His power to heal emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Healing through the community of believers. Fellowship with other believers fosters healing through mutual encouragement, accountability, and prayer. James 5 verse 16 advises, Therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. The church community serves as a support system, offering love and care during difficult times. Sharing burdens with trusted friends or mentors provides relief and perspective, and collective prayer invites God's intervention. Isolation often exacerbates wounds, but community reminds us we are not alone. As we lift each other in prayer and walk together in faith, we experience God's healing through the love and support of His people. Healing through the gift of rest. Rest is essential for physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. In Matthew 11 verse 28, Jesus invites us, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Rest allows us to pause, reflect, and rejuvenate in God's presence. It is not just physical rest but also resting in the assurance of His promises. Taking intentional time to step away from busyness and stress gives space for God to work within us. Rest renews our strength, clears our minds, and restores our spirits. It reminds us to rely on God's sufficiency rather than our own efforts. In rest, we find the peace that comes from trusting in His care and provision. Healing through a heart of service. Serving others brings healing by shifting our focus outward, reminding us of the blessings we have and the joy of helping others. Acts 20 verse 35 says, It is more blessed to give than to receive. Service brings perspective showing us how God works through us to meet the needs of others. As we extend love and compassion, we experience the joy of being a vessel of God's healing. Whether through small acts of kindness or significant commitments, serving others fosters gratitude, fulfillment, and emotional restoration. It allows us to connect with others on a deeper level, creating opportunities for shared healing and growth. Healing through the fruit of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit cultivates qualities in us that lead to healing. Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23 lists the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, forbearance, 
kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These traits are transformative, mending broken relationships, calming internal conflicts, and fostering emotional stability. For instance, peace heals anxiety, gentleness soothes anger, and self-control prevents harmful reactions. As we yield to the Spirit, these fruits grow in our lives, bringing healing not only to us but also to those around us. The presence of the Spirit creates an environment where healing can thrive. Healing through remembering God's faithfulness. Reflecting on past instances of God's provision and healing builds our faith for present challenges. Lamentations 3 verses 22 to 23 says, Because of the Lord's great love we are not consumed, for His compassions never fail. They are new every morning, great is your faithfulness. Remembering how God has worked in our lives strengthens our trust in His ability to heal again. Recalling His faithfulness brings comfort and reassures us of His unchanging nature. Keeping a record of answered prayers or journaling about moments of healing can be a powerful reminder of God's goodness, helping us remain hopeful and confident. Healing through nature and creation. Spending time in nature can have a profound healing effect, connecting us to God's creativity and majesty. Psalm 19 verse 1 states, The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of His hands. Walking in nature, marveling at its beauty, and taking moments to breathe deeply in God's creation can bring peace and restoration. Nature reflects God's intricate care and reminds us of His power to sustain life. The calm of a forest, the vastness of the ocean, or the warmth of the sun can renew our spirits and provide a sense of grounding in His presence. Creation is a testament to God's ability to bring life and beauty, even in places that once seemed barren. Healing through obedience to God's Word Obedience opens the door for God's healing to flow into our lives. Exodus 15 verse 26 promises, If you listen carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right in His eyes. I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord. Who heals you? Following God's commands brings alignment with His will, creating conditions for healing. Obedience may require letting go of unhealthy habits, forgiving others, or stepping out in faith, but it always leads to blessings. As we trust and obey, we position ourselves to receive His healing power. Healing through faith in God's promises. Faith is a powerful force for healing, connecting us to the promises of God. Hebrews 11 verse 1 defines faith as confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Healing often begins with believing that God can and will intervene in our lives. Faith enables us to trust in His timing, even when circumstances seem impossible. By holding on to His promises, such as, by His stripes, we are healed, Isaiah 53 verse 5, we strengthen our hope and resilience. Faith allows us to release fear and doubt, creating space for God to work miracles in ways beyond our understanding. Healing through forgiveness. Forgiveness is a cornerstone of emotional and spiritual healing. Ephesians 4 verse 32 instructs, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Holding on to bitterness or resentment creates emotional wounds that hinder healing. Forgiveness, however, frees us from the burden of anger and pain. It allows God's grace to flow into our lives, healing relationships and restoring peace. Forgiveness does not mean condoning wrong actions but releasing ourselves from the hold of negativity. As we forgive, we reflect God's love and experience the liberating power of His mercy. Healing through joyful gratitude. Gratitude is a healing balm for the soul, shifting our focus from what we lack to what we have been blessed with. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18 says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. 
Gratitude cultivates joy and contentment, counteracting despair and negativity. Writing down blessings, expressing thanks to others, and celebrating small victories nurture a positive mindset that fosters healing. When we approach life with gratitude, we invite God's joy to fill our hearts, renewing our strength and giving us the resilience to face challenges. Healing through persistent prayer. Persistent prayer demonstrates unwavering faith in God's ability to heal. Luke 18 verse 1 tells us to always pray and not give up. Healing may not always come instantly, but persistent prayer keeps us connected to God's power and presence. As we pour out our hearts to Him, we align with His will and invite His intervention. Persistent prayer builds our relationship with God, deepening our trust and dependence on Him. It reminds us that even when we don't see immediate results, God is working behind the scenes for our good. Persistence reflects our belief in His timing and sovereignty. Healing through acts of compassion. Showing compassion to others brings healing to both the giver and the receiver. Proverbs 11 verse 25 states, A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. Compassionate acts, whether small gestures or significant sacrifices, reflect God's love and create ripples of healing. Helping others in need fosters connection and reminds us of our shared humanity. It allows us to see beyond our struggles and find purpose in serving. Compassion uplifts the weary and strengthens bonds, creating a community of mutual care where God's healing presence thrives. Healing through trust in God's plan. Trusting God's plan, even when we don't understand it, brings peace and healing. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 advises, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Trust involves surrendering control and believing that God's ways are higher than ours. It removes the stress of trying to figure everything out and allows us to rest in His wisdom. Trusting God's plan reassures us that He is orchestrating our lives for our ultimate good, even when circumstances seem uncertain. Healing through the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our comforter, guiding and empowering us toward healing. John 14 verse 26 promises, But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and remind you of everything I have said to you. The Holy Spirit works in our hearts, convicting us of sin, comforting us in sorrow, and leading us to truth. As we yield to the Spirit, He transforms us, healing our wounds and renewing our minds. The Spirit's power equips us to overcome challenges and live victoriously. Healing through God's peace. God's peace surpasses all understanding and provides deep healing for troubled hearts. Philippians 4 verse 7 assures, And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. God's peace calms fears, soothes anxieties, and restores balance to our lives. It is a peace that the world cannot offer, rooted in the assurance of His love and sovereignty. As we dwell in His peace, we find clarity, strength, and hope, enabling us to navigate life's challenges with confidence and grace. Healing through surrender. Surrendering our burdens to God opens the door for His healing power. Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30 invites, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Surrender involves letting go of control and placing our trust entirely in God. It requires faith to release our worries, trusting that He will provide and protect. In surrender, we find freedom from the weight of our struggles, allowing God's grace to fill the void. It is an act of humility that acknowledges our dependence on Him, paving the way for restoration and peace. Healing through God's unconditional love. Experiencing God's unconditional love is the ultimate source of healing. Romans 8 verses 38 to 39 declares, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, 
nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. God's love heals the deepest wounds, offering acceptance, forgiveness, and hope. His love reminds us of our worth and identity as His children. It empowers us to love ourselves and others, fostering reconciliation and renewal. God's love is a constant, unchanging force that sustains and strengthens us through every trial. Healing through worship. Worship brings healing by shifting our focus from problems to God's greatness. Psalm 100 verse 2 encourages, Worship the Lord with gladness, come before Him with joyful songs. Worship invites God's presence into our lives, filling us with His peace and joy. Singing praises, lifting hands, and meditating on His attributes remind us of His power and love. Worship creates a sacred space where our burdens are lifted, and our spirits are renewed. It connects us to the divine, allowing God's healing presence to work in our hearts and minds. Healing through community.